Sue Baker. And welcome yes. everyone to our show. And we have the family here with us. Yeah. We, we, we have at least a because part of Because we have a, a plethora of children <laughs> and grandchildren. <laughs> wow. But a children to me are a blessing. Yes, yes. that's yes. true. My, all my children are a blessing. Yes. And John is my son-in-law. Wow. That's right. <laughs> but you have a grandson. My, your son is my grandson. Yes. <laughs> Jackson, who is a cat bird. <laughs> yes, he is. He's the cutest kid I have ever seen. <laughs> he is. Do you have fun with Jackson? Yes. As a matter of fact, just recently we all went hiking just mm -hmm. an hour oh. south of here and just really enjoyed our time together. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's uh, like he likes to go shop with you and go look oh, for yeah. bugs or anything, He does. Right? You know, one of his favorite things right now is spring. He loves, uh, every night he says, Dad, can you hear the frogs? So <laughs> he thinks it's his oh. job to try and round them up. <laughs> That's right. We, you does. have, I wish, we, and I, wish I could have had it in the control room. Years old, so you yeah. have a, a, a piece that uh, one of yeah. your... Olivia. Olivia. Which is so a little large. I have Olivia on social media. We're doing some social media. And so all you hear in the back, you know that spring has sprung. All you hear is all the frogs rubbing <laughs> so loud. The frogs. I thought, is that, That's where is right. that? I was like, it's amazing. They're That's so real loud. Frogs. Yes, and of course you have Kate and Jackson, Natalie, Livy. They're all out there. Like John said, they're rounding them up. They're yes. catching them, and then they come and bring them right in your face. You know, so many of you, you watch the show. The thing that we've always heard growing up our entire lives is every time we meet one of our partners, you always say to us, we feel like we're family. Yes. We feel like we've watched you guys grow up, and it's mutual. We feel like we are family, and That's so true. what a way... I just said, I'm like, why not share the behind oh. the scenes? I'm turning into dad, Jim Baker Jr. Totally. We're sharing the behind the scenes of our amazing, crazy, fun family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I, I've, I got a couple of things I'm writing down here because it's so exciting. But we need to run the shows from the Studio City in yes. Branson mm -hmm. from, what, 10, 15 That's years right. ago. Yes. When you're... You kids were little. That's right. R Ricky was four, That's and he was running camera mm -hmm. at probably four, five, four, five, five. six. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was running camera, standing <laughs> on a box. Mm -hmm. And uh, but wouldn't it be fun to see all of you kids? Yes. Fun. And Ricky, he also played in the intro. Yeah. He played the bongo. He did. Yeah. Do you remember that? that? Yes, he did. Oh. Well, well, John, I got a, I got a job for you. Yeah. Oh, I mean, boy. not that you don't have a job. Yeah. <laughs> John, John's our news director, and he John is does. constantly yeah. researching and bringing us yeah. information yeah. to share with you on a yeah. daily basis. He helps basis. create the show with Kimberly. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Kim and John work together, and Mondo, yeah. and they produce and the show. Ben. So they're on the show. Mondo's on the show every day. That's right. Marcella's on the show every day, and she runs the whole place. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm doing it from this phone right here. So sometimes I might have to be so when you taking hear your that, business. <laughs> when she's when she's on the show and she's help helping to talk about the yeah. gift items, yeah. and she's desperate. That's because she has to pay the bills. <laughs> that is true. Hey, I will say. Isn't yes. that right? Oh yes. Yeah. So I'm like, believe me, I have learned to have great faith. Amen. You know, that's the thing. I'm like, Lord, I've learned through this past year. I don't want to have small faith. No. I have great faith Amen. to believe the things Amen. that you have done. That's right. You have to. You have to. When you're doing ministry full you're a, time, these, we these, live by great faith. Where were you born? Phoenix, Arizona, in the inner city of Phoenix, Arizona. And you, you, you were a minimalist. Yeah. Her family was a minimalist. Yeah. Right. That's they, right. They had half the time didn't even have furniture. Yeah. That's but they right. had no Absolutely. beds. They always the kids always. How many dozen at a time oh, would sleep on the floor? If not more, oh, yeah. absolutely. If not more, yeah. And, and one bedroom. Yeah. And. Mm -hmm. and Someday so, we're going to, we need to do, tell the whole story. A lot of people go, I don't really know the story yeah. of the kids and how you got them and, and but, how it all But worked. whoever thought little, that these little kids, mm -hmm. I remember the first picture I ever saw you, Nina, you were, must have been about, what, picture. two years old? Yes. Mm -hmm. Walking down look, the stairs. See, and I yes. thought you were see, gonna, there's me Look how cute. Now that's yeah. little Lori <gasps> and, and white dress. Nana. Yes. And that's back, Mom, back at, at mm -hmm. uh, that was in the inner city. Yeah, that's, right. that's about 1992-ish. Mm -hmm. And you were at, you were at the. I was I was at, I was doing bus ministry and you know on those old white buses going down. And to you the were inner studying city. for ministry. I was in ministry school. That's right. And um, just it was amazing. And now and, and you you studied, 
And part of your work was to go down to in there and say, look at her with yes. this. What is that truck? Is. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> but one of my, I, I always drag somebody along with me to help me. That's because, <laughs> I mean, the minute I would even roll in with my little uh, tan car. And so she could, Lori would like go into the ghetto. With, yep. Usually she had a big bus. You know, mm -hmm. she was the bus pastor. Or they, she had her car, but it was always filled with kids. Mm -hmm. And she would go into that inner city you know, and I, bring him Easter or Thanksgiving Everything. or Every, Christmas. It was, all, it was all the time. And I yet, was down there all the time with them. And they, these kids ended up being our kids. Yeah. We would have never dreamt that. Yeah. And, you know, I just have this cute story I just thought about. A darling story about... There's, there's Marcia. There's... That's at our... Yeah, um, that's when Florida. we first got adopted. I was 12, about 12 years old. That's, 11, that's, 12 years old. That's, that, tell me what that is. That's Camp of Hope, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. look at that's right all of my kids right there. Those, those are our kids. Yeah. A few were missing out of that picture because they were... Well, there are always a few missing. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to get Well, you got together. a bunch of kids to get them all together at once. Mm -hmm. is, is, is not always easy. But I have this cute story. I don't know if you can hear me, Jim, or not, but I have a cute story about Nana. I just thought about it. It's like, it really, it is. It's It's really amazing but one day i took the kid i went and picked them all up in my little tan car but you know i was i was told by our leadership never go down into the inner city alone especially a white woman with blonde hair don't do it but i broke the rules because <laughs> i couldn't stay away from this family of all these children and um so one day i go down and we're uh, I go down there, I go, okay, as many as you can pile in this little car, pile in, no matter what. I mean, this was yeah. back in, like, early 90s. So they piled in. I took them to the big Easter production yeah. at our church, and I was a flying angel. So I was a flying from the rafters, and I would wave down to my kids down there, all of these yeah. kids. But um, I, we were driving home, and they were starving. They, they were just so hungry. Yeah. And I only, I lived by faith, literally. And I only had change, some change. And I thought, okay, Lord, I'm going to go into McDonald's and just run through on my way, taking them back into the, back into the inner city. And I went through McDonald's, and I asked if I could get a hamburger for each of them, knowing I only had a little bit of change. That's all I had in my name. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and that boy at that McDonald's blessed every single one of us with a hamburger each and filled their little mm -hmm. tummies, and yeah. it was really special. And as we were driving home, Nana's in behind me. Now, you have to imagine. I mean, I was breaking the rules, I mean, honestly, because I was not supposed to go in the inner city at night. I was not supposed to have that many kids in the car at one time, but I was like, just pile in as many as we can and get them to church. And so Nana in the back, she's right here, and she goes, one day I want to grow up and be a church lady just like <laughs> you. Aww. And I'm like, oh, oh it was like, yeah. wow. Yeah. It was the sweetest. And look what God's done. Yeah. Look what he's done. He's raised up yeah. a mighty woman of God. So... Amazing. I love my kids. I love my kids. I'll tell you, God's blessed us with abundance from the inner city. And, and we and never thought they're that. All, and now they're just multiplying. They're all, <laughs> we have grandkids. And yeah. I think, I don't know what's best, your kids or your grandkids. There's some of my grandkids <laughs> on the screen. Mm -hmm. And John, I was, my question was for yep. you. We're never going to get this I'll show start, on the road start. if I don't get to go in here. But I've. I've got to ask you to do something. Yeah. I'm going to make it as an assignment. All right. This is an assignment from, for the news division. Yeah. Okay. You get the cameras, and you go out in your front yard, and I want you to get Jackson and any of the kids that will go out there with you and take pictures of your front yard. Oh, because yeah. their front yard, what do you tell them what is in your front yard? Well, we have a lot of sheep out there, <laughs> and uh, they're precarious. They don't like to stay put very much, yeah. so <laughs> it's uh, keeping an eye on them uh, is, is, a, is a fun job. They uh, love the kids. Mm -hmm. You the need kids to write love... storybooks for kids. Yeah. Yes. Because they, the sheep sneak out they of, yeah, their, they of, the, of the yard, yes. and they, they figure out ways to get out. They we do. can't figure out. And the other day, 
What was it, Nana? You found them all? Yeah. All the Half the sheep were out in the road. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they were, were at the entrance as we're leaving, trying to take the kids well, to school. I'll but... tell you, actually, I had to call our school and say, we're running a little bit behind because the sheep got out. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought we were going to be That's hillbillies right. like this, living up in these mountains. <laughs> yeah. these, these kids from the inner city ghetto, yeah. ghetto of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. yeah. And... But the sheep, yeah. and uh, <laughs> d d can the kids pick up any sheep or the little bit Some of the sheep? little ones, uh, Mr. Adam? Jack Perkins, he's the one that takes care of all the sheep out mm -hmm. there. And uh, every now and then, they get, when they have babies, you can round them up and hold them. But uh, they're all getting a little bit bigger now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, they're surprisingly I, quick. So we have an interesting family, <laughs> interesting life here at Morningside. And uh, mm -hmm. some of the folks are moving here like never before yeah. we're having people move in That's exciting. and uh, I noticed the other day we had three or four for sale signs because we this is a big place mm -hmm. how many acres is it About 700 700 acres here yeah. and and so we we had three or four houses for sale and today I noticed there was only one house for sale. Yeah. That's right. It's and amazing. so it just goes fast. Yeah. You yes. know, they go house. Houses are selling yeah. anyway. It's a yeah, they are. Seller's market mm -hmm. right now, I guess. That's right. Yeah. But Morningside's growing. Amen. And I'm excited about what's happening. Yeah. But I just wanted you to talk with our family for a minute. And uh, so this is a special program today. And, you know, we're living in difficult days and we're seeing time and events move faster and faster it seems like but our hope is in jesus yes amen, amen. he is our strong sure. tower amen. Amen. isaiah 40 verse 31 amen. says but those who wait for the lord who expect look for and hope in him amen they shall change and renew their strength amen yes. and power they shall lift their wings and mount up Amen. close to God as eagles. Mount up to the sun, it says in the Bible. Mm. And not be weary. That's right. This is for me. And not be weary. Anybody ever feel weary? Yes. yes. We sure oh, my have. God. Who hasn't? I don't yeah. know. My last year been a weary year. Mm -hmm. I've slept more than every time in my history. Mm -hmm. I'm going to preach to you a minute if you're not careful. <laughs> because he said you'll run and not be weary. Right. Yeah, Amen. John, you ran. <laughs> yes. Boy, you, you what did you call that thing? It was called the Tough Mudder. Yeah. Tough Mudder. You yep. and Jasper. And, and who they, they have them all over the country now. Mm -hmm. And they climb mountains and stuff. There's, a, there's pictures of it on the oh, air. Yeah. And you get in the water and the cold. It was icy cold out there. It was. I don't think it got over 50 degrees because it was, you had to keep moving to stay and, and warm. And you're on ro rolling logs? Yeah. That, those are the logs, aren't they? Yeah, I right guess there, that's, that's like a rolling block, and you have to teamwork through each one of these obstacles oh, to get through it. And you climb up high things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that big thing back there. Mm -hmm. And get in, the, in their water, they're freezing. And, and how many hours does that go? Uh, well, as long as it takes you there. Oh, long well, we did, did. it really wasn't Several a time hours, limit, right? but I think it took us about four hours wow. to do 10 miles. Oh, my Lord. He was so weary mm -hmm. that yes. we touch, test that uh, patch. Yeah. The signal yeah. release. Right. Signal release. Mm -hmm. it, did that work for you? It did. It helped so much. And I tell you, it helped so much. It's actually becoming hard to find because somebody in the family is always wearing it. <laughs> so you better, if you're going to order one, you better order more than one. That's right. Is that you, Nana? Interesting. He's telling on me, yes. He's that's telling me. on you, and I love it. And that's Good how job. you know it works. But if they want to get one. Just get the tea pack at yeah. this point. Absolutely, because you know what? You always want to yeah. bless somebody else with it. Pastor Jim, can I say this? Yes. Even my daughter, Natalie, yeah. she humble. likes to have it. And I think she's just like her mom. <laughs> you know, she likes to have the patch on, you know. Yes, she does. And uh, she'll yeah. wear it around the house. But she's a rascal. So I mean, I say <laughs> yes. a rascal. Active. Yes. yes. She so she falls over probably yes. and runs Clumsy. and <laughs> trips yes. and hops and skips. Uh -huh. Yeah. So she, she probably has to have some relief. So great. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'll tell you what. 
He says we'll run and not be weary. Amen. Boy, Amen. you you ran and you were weary. Yes, I was. Because that's that was that's insane right. what he did. <laughs> and they shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. Or become tired. Yes. I got to stand on that scripture today. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the amplified right. version, yeah. and that is an excellent I version so to good. read that. That is, mm -hmm. and I need that. Yeah. But he says we'll run and not be, and I believe I'm getting more energy. Good. I believe I'm getting, right. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I'm getting stronger. You are. Yeah. And the other day we did three TV shows in one day. Yes. yes. That was, that was, that was my record since I had the stroke. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that was, and I loved it. Yeah. I could have done the fourth one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I could have done a full show. Yes, That's awesome. Yeah. Man. So good. And up till then, uh, one show would, I'd be ready to go back and crawl yeah. in and take yeah. a nap. Yeah. You know, so just before we get really into the day's program, I want to start off the show with the music. Okay, because I tell you, we're having music. Yeah. And so here's Pastor Chopper Ward, who was with us last week yes. from Little Rock, Arkansas. Right. And he's going to be with us for the 4th of July with his whole family. Yeah. Oh. I mean, this is a huge family. Beautiful. Singing Maybe. family. Mm -hmm. And his father was one of the great gospel kind of country, too, Amazing. singer. And they, they are good. Mm -hmm. I finally found some people that understand the happy good ones. Yes. <laughs> I just like the old gospel music. I don't know. There's people, you either love it or hate it. <laughs> well, I love it. I just yes. love it. I love up music, happy music. I want to rejoice in the Lord. I need to rejoice. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then somebody yesterday was using the scripture, the joy of, of the Lord mm. is, is our strength. strength. Amen. 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 Yeah. The Amen. joy of the Lord is yeah. our strength. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the one thing grandkids will do for you is make you happy. That's, That's right. true. Yes, they bring Crazy they they do kids, bring they joy. just run in circles. They jump at our special. bed they with love us. They love they're all they're so cute. When they come to my house, I have, don't tell them I'm telling you this, but we have popsicles. Sugar-free. Sugar-free. <laughs> I, I also have diabetes, which I've conquered to some degree, but... <laughs> but I don't want my kids to have diabetes or my mm -hmm. grandkids. And so we just packed the refrigerator to some degree. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't want my kids to have diabetes or my mm -hmm. grandkids. And so we just packed the refrigerator with sugar-free popsicles. It's a staple. Anybody yes. had popsicles when you were little? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my Lord. I the... love the orange oh, one for it. some reason. Yeah. I just loved orange popsicles. And so they go in, Papa, Grandpa, yes. whatever they call me. Some, some call me different things, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I said, can I have a popsicle? Oh, sure. Yeah, see, that's the thing, though. When we tell them no, they go to Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa gives them all popsicles. So true. But they're yeah. sugar-free. And that's okay. Yes. That's good. That's so good. I check with moms, right? Yeah. <laughs> we love it. It's so and cute. And so I know... They can have it without. That's right. Hurting. They don't even check with any of us. They just go straight to the freezer and open it. Are well, you? Well, they daddy? know where it is now. Yeah, they know where oh, everything is. Yeah. But that's the joy. Mm -hmm. That's it. And they laugh and they carry on. <laughs> and Jackson, my little friend, how old is Jackson now? He's five. five. He's five already. <laughs> that boy is something else. And he brings me presents. <gasps> yes. He does. Always. Five-year-old boy brings treasures. me presents. Mm -hmm. He brings me little cars. Yes. All and when I was toys. a boy, I played with little cars. Mm -hmm. And I, an unusual I really, but no, you but know, you know, nobody Jim gives me presents like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He gives me a presents like I would like when I was his age. Yeah. yeah. And so it just kind of puts me back at that I'm I'm yeah. a little boy again. Yeah. yeah. You know, but the joy yeah. of the Lord yes. is our strength. That's right. And and so I'm going to have. Uh, Chopper. Pastor Chopper, that we just got to know, and we're so grateful. Bishop Ron Webb brought him with him when he with us, and he yeah. he's here for the first time, and we we just fell in love with him. I, and you all, have you if you've seen those broadcasts, I'm sure you did too. So he's going to sing for us right now, 
just like the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a gospel upbeat song. And in fact, he has a LP out, I guess you call them. Record. Record, album. CD yeah. mm -hmm. out of all of more up gospel stuff. We, pl we, we sent out his uh, hymns. Oh, which I right. hymns. Oh, I love that. And that, that was for a $20 offer. You can still get the hymns. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. I'll tell you, if you like hymns that are hymns, oh, these are amazing. hymns with spirit. Yes. Yeah. He sings a little bit like a little cross between Elvis Presley and the Happy Goodmans and every, all my people thrown in there together, mm -hmm. do you think? And uh, here's Pastor Chopper. Ward singing just your yes. wow. <laughs> so <good>. wow. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wow. Remember, he's going to be with us on the 4th of July weekend. Yes. That's right. And we have a lot of guests coming. We haven't even announced the guest yet. Uh, Pastor Ron Webb yes. is speaking, I know, Friday night, and he's one of the great preachers of our day. He really and is. And he prays for everybody. He and, does. And ministers to you. Yeah. So he's going to be here, and we have the new Mahalia Jackson yes. is also going to be here. And, and uh, they've never uh, uh, sang together, but... Uh, but when you live in the Jim Baker world, all of a sudden, every, you know, you're, you're forced to sing together whether you like to or not. So, <laughs> so Pastor Chopper Ward, that's his name, Chopper Ward. Yes, Gloria. Gloria. Yes. is going to sing duet for the first time. Yes. This is what Bishop said. Yes. If Bishop <laughs> says it, I believe it. That's and right. he says this is the greatest lady gospel singer since wow. Mahalia Jackson. Mm. Mm. Amazing. Awesome. So we're celebrating the 4th of July, since you're already talking about it right now. So we're celebrating it, Nana. On yes. Well, this is Pastor Jim's 60th anniversary of being in ministry. And so this is exciting for us. Every single year we do something to honor you, Dad, and the ministry of all the years that you've given to preaching the gospel. And so come, we want to invite you, come and join us for a long weekend, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, and Sunday, which Sunday is the 4th of July this year. But come and join us for services and seminars. The Prayer Mountain Chapel will be having services at the Prayer Mountain Chapel, which is absolutely beautiful up there as well. And dad, this is special because we're also releasing your brand new book. Yes. yes. You can make it. This is a brand new book with the, my, uh, my old saying. I've said this a million times yes. probably and have it sung. Anybody who comes, we're giving a special uh, picture, signed picture yes. of Lori and me in the book that's right and so the and we got a lot more coming we oh, haven't yes. even announced so who all is coming. great music great ministry we're just in just a time of fellowship yeah we're also on saturday we're having our partners picnic so yes. come and join us that's a time every year we try to come together to just thank our partners that's for right. standing with us and yes. your faithfulness is really it means a lot to our family and it's a time for us just to come together and yep. enjoy the fellowship yeah we always love that yes, yes. Yes, I, I know we have so many guests coming in the next few weeks. Who are some of the guests, Kimberly, that are coming? Joel Richardson, who's my good friend. General Mike Flynn is going to be on the show. Jenry Bo Boykin is coming back. Coming. Heidi Baker yes, Heidi. is going to be on the show. You know Heidi Baker? Oh, yes. amazing. Yes. That's a rare, you get her every decade or so is, is to be able to get her because she's so yes. busy. John so. Kilpatrick is going to be I here. I love Rick Pastor Joyner. John. Don't you Rick love Joyner. Pastor John Kilpatrick? Rick, yeah. Rick Joyner oh, is going to be on stage that's here. That's right. And live. Rick, yes. yes. With a man, he tells me, is one of the great prophets of that's our time. That's right. And he wants me to have him on the show and be with him. So they're going to come here yes. in person. And Pastor John Kilpatrick will be here in studio yes, as well. Yes, he will. So what you need to do to see all the dates of the upcoming shows for the Jim Baker Show is go to jimbakershow.com. You can see all of the listings available there. So then you can plan your schedule to come and be here at Morningside with us. But here's the big thing that for the 4th of July which is, the 4th of July is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. Our show here on this air is going to be live. Jim Baker's show? That, that's us. Mm -hmm. Jim Baker. Live for those three days. Yes. It's on the weekend. So 
if you all want to come be with us, get yeah. your reservations in, That's and uh, everything's going to be open and, and going, and we're back. We're yeah. back. Right. So. Also, Perry Stone will be here on live in the studio. Yeah. Perry Stone will be live. So you folks, be sure to book these times mm -hmm. and see some of the people that are just rare to be able to get to see because mm -hmm. unless they're coming to your town, you don't get to see them. And, mm -hmm. and people haven't even traveled for the last year. Exactly. And now they're starting to travel a little bit and they're, they're coming here. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. Yeah. And I'm yeah. excited to be back here on Gray Street. Yeah. Amen. 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 So we're putting together a great Fourth of July, and and it's it, it's it's got a packed pack, and we have special guests every day, mm -hmm. and special music every day, and you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And my new book, you can make it. God's faithfulness in dark times, past, present, and future will be released over that weekend. And for those here, we're going to have a signed autograph uh, in a the book, book hmm? picture for you to, to take home with you as a special mm -hmm. gift. So yeah, amen. I hope you'll join us here on Gray Street for a great celebration of our nation's Independence Day. Amen. That's right. And, and you know, we had a great time yesterday planning the music for the 4th of July weekend. Wow. We have, we got music for you, Tammy Sue, who in my personal opinion, I is the best female singer. I love Tammy Sue's voice. Will be on hand to sing and and direct Clayton Watson, who we heard Clayton, yes, if you watched yesterday, he awesome. plays the keyboard like nobody else. Clayton Watson will be joining her. We have Pastor Chopper Ward from Rock City Harvest Church, we just heard, joining us as well. With his family. With his family. I guess you're speaking in faith or you know that. No, that I know I that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, we are so excited what God is doing here at Morningside. The miracle at Morningside. Amen. I just got a note in big print for old people uh, on this big piece of paper. It says on every Saturday on the PTL network is classic. The, what they call the classic Jim Baker show. Yes. There's even some from way, way back. Mm -hmm. But most of them are from the Studio mm -hmm. City in Branson. Yes. yes. And you'll see all of our children mm -hmm. as they were growing up. Yes. Mm. At different levels as you watch mm -hmm. those shows. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, and we, got, we got guests that are gone to be with the Lord that yes. were on that show. That's that, so that, true. It was amazing how many would stop in mm -hmm. there, and, and they would just, just bless the socks yeah. off from us. And, and uh, people like the Cathedral of Tomorrow, you remember the Cathedral of Tomorrow mm -hmm. with the Rex Humberts? Oh, yes. So Rex Humbert dropped in. Yeah, I remember that. And wow. so, yeah. so that was special. You, and, and he's gone to be with the Lord. Gary Smalley used to drop by. Gary Smalley by. was on a lot. Yeah. He taught us One so of my much. favorite shows was Tony Orlando, the very first the show very we first filmed. Show. Yeah. What a great restoration. But Rodney Diller from, yeah. you know, the Andy Griffith show mm -hmm. stopped by. He became our announcer. Yeah. You know, you got to see people that really have blessed his ministry throughout the years. That's where we got to meet Bishop Ron Webb for the That's first true. time. You there's know, the Archie family, Kendall's Archie Kendall stopped right in. Now. And there's Maricela. Oh, there I, I didn't know. <laughs> there I, was... I am sitting on the floor. There's, <laughs> there's my two of those kids are married that are sitting on Lori's lap. Mm. Little Ricky's right there. Yeah. He's married now. Yeah. And Miss Maria, yeah. and she's married, and they both have babies. That's yeah. <laughs> Wow, Thank what you. a classic, what an event. I mean, we had so much music, we had so many ideas. I mean, those were the times when, you know, Ricky was running camera, Marie <laughs> was running camera, but it took all of our family. If you want to know the theme, we are a reflection of restoration for this hour. We are living in a time where family is being canceled. The yeah, idea of family right. is being turned away, and we are a restoration. And maybe we reflect like your family that are, you know, from all over the parts of the United States, maybe even the world. But to even think that God can restore Jim and Lori Baker, 
with a set of kids that don't look like you, don't walk like you, <laughs> but we become like you, you know, yeah, because your faith true. strengthened our faith. Yeah. And now that we have family, yeah. we, I know we talk a lot amongst ourselves, but we reflect your values. We mm -hmm. reflect what you poured into us, and now we pass it down to our own kids. Mm -hmm. But I guess so many people stop us, and they cannot believe that the two of you decided to step in and mother us and father us <laughs> and create a family out of nothing. Mm -hmm. And you're watching a miracle right before your <laughs> eyes. It's, it's, another it's miracle. a miracle yeah. that we are sitting here together. We have endured through so many changes, so many things. And you'll see those changes from the classic programs. Yes. When you think that we were not going to be able to make it, look where we are now. That's Amen. right. That's you right. Know, yeah. all God, we give God, and we thank you, Father, for that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lori, it's like, I was going to say the old lady that lived in the shoe. I said, mm -hmm. old lady. <laughs> had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And there was times when we had so many kids, we didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. But we raised them. Amen. All I can say is you live one day at a time and you get yeah. through it. That's right. And uh, boy, oh boy, it's pretty something, isn't it? How many had a bunch of kids? Anybody had raise a bunch of kids? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but... But Especially it's, those young <clears throat> teen years. <laughs> it's a lot. But what a but, joy. But, you know, I was but just reflecting real quick. I'm running I, out of time. I know you are, but I'm going to say this anyways, and you can edit it out, honey, because I'll say for you guys. Um, but seriously. We haven't had a good fight on the show. No, not in a <laughs> long time. time. I've been trying to he help That's heal right. you. She's been nice to me because I've been sick. <laughs> <laughs> but you're talking about all this, and I remember when I turned 40 years old, and I was overseeing several hundred young people and, you know, leading them in ministry and all that. And, but I remember the day I turned 40 years old and I was living alone. Mm. I was single. I was living alone in a one-bedroom apartment. And I remember feeling despair mm. and going, oh, my God, Lord, like talking to the Lord and literally crying and it wasn't a, a real pity party because I'm not a pity party type person typically, but it was one of those moments where it was kind of a defining moment where I, and I said, Lord, I'm single. I don't have any children. I, I mean, I know I'm called to ministry, but, you know, I, I'm just, I feel lonely. I feel alone. Mm -hmm. And little did I know within months, <laughs> I would meet and marry Jim Baker. Yeah. And then literally within months after that, that, w that God would have our children come to us and we get to adopt them and raise this huge family. And you Never were almost trapped. raising him in the ghetto because you well, were with sure. him all the time. I was. That's why Lori's name is Lori because they're yeah, birth mom. Yeah, little Lori here. Right. You're I named the, after Mama yes, Lori. Yes, I'm her namesake. That's, That's right. right. Mama Lori it. was at your birth. That's I was. Right. I was the first one to hold her. I cut the umbilical cord. I held her in my <laughs> hand, my arms. There's, that's little and that Lori. was at her dedication. That's little Lori and, and Pastor Lloyd's Lori arms Ziegler. there. And we are dedicating mm. Lori wow. unto the Lord mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Little and did you know she would be your baby. Never dreamt in a million years. Mm -hmm. And it's so amazing. you never know what God's going to do in your it's life. So Just trust One of our him. miracles. It's amazing. it's amazing. You're a miracle, girl. Thank you. I accept she that. Is. I received that. <laughs> and what a joy she is to me. Yeah. These two girls, they're all, all my girls are, all my children. They're, 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 they're really from God. Mm -hmm. And it's, some have been more difficult to raise than others. But <laughs> Oh, we have a, a few still yeah, out there. Don't that, worry. Right? We're not a perfect, there's yeah. no perfect family. That's right. Everybody. But it's such a big miracle that it's overwhelming to me just to think about it that here I get out of prison and I'm, a, I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. And that's funny. You're saying you were lonely. Mm -hmm. I was lonely. And I had been praying. Every church I'd go to, I'd ask the pastor to pray that God would send me a wife. So true, and, uh, because they came up to me. Well, so I, was, many of them. I traveled a little bit just preaching around. Not much, but I would ask the pastors to pray that you know, I was never in one spot to find a wife, you know. So I <laughs> just, and then I live out on the farm that the, fr After you that the Graham, yeah. Frank and Graham and all had given mm -hmm. me a house to live in. Mm -hmm. And so then I met you at the Dream Center and I was all alone. Mm -hmm. I was just praying 
And the minute I saw you, the minute I saw you, I said, this is it. This mm -hmm. is, she's the one. <laughs> exactly what I did. I described her to the Lord before I met her. And, and, and the Lord sent her to me. And I said, I know that she's the one. And uh, how long did, before we got married? From the day we met to the day we got married, seven weeks. You know, most people, of course, watched, watched um, Jim and his whole ministry, Heritage and PTO and all that. But I had never seen, I had never seen one of those broadcasts. I had never seen one. So I didn't have any preconceived ideas about Jim. You know, I heard about things, but I didn't know. Uh, I really didn't know. I was just like, yeah. you know, it was pretty amazing. Then you married me, and you said, what did I get into? <laughs> no, now I know. There, oh, there's my dad, the greatest day of his life, walking me down the aisle. <laughs> He's gone to be with the Lord many, many years ago. There's, there's my mom. mom. She looks there so you beautiful. Are. That's there's Archie Kendall, wow. Pastor Tommy Precious. Barnett, Pastor Matthew Barnett, Lloyd We had about Ziegler. five preachers marry us. It, <laughs> was, it was a big job. Mondo, what is happening right now in the news? Oh, Will you give us a quick, quick update uh, and maybe a B-roll if we're ready? Absolutely. You know, John and I, mm -hmm. we try to stay up with the news as much as we can. So much developments are taking place right now. I think one of the biggest news stories that we have followed the last few weeks is the one we're going to talk about right now. North America... The meat plants in North America had to stop their processing and, and shut down. This was huge. This, this became a headline that very few cable networks even picked up. I think one of the reasons was that they did not want to panic the people. But I want you to know we are living in a time where if we don't stay up with what's happening, is going to catch you unaware. This is another headline. One-fifth of U.S. beef capacity wiped out by JBS cyber attack. I remember you prophesying that there will be, you know, computer confusion mm -hmm. in the last days. We are witnessing the beginning. You think Y2K, that was the beginning, but you're watching right now the developments of how the cyber attack. How could they stop the meat? I don't understand this. Because the companies technic with the technology, they are able to talk to each other on how much meat is going to be delivered to the United States, then how is that going to be distributed throughout North America? Now, what is JBS? That's Jim Baker's show. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not the oh, same thing. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Me but too. No. no, but I just saw it on the side that's of the building. The of yeah, it. no, that's the name of the owner of the company. Mm -hmm. This company was, it, it is based and founded in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And the man that owned this company decided to use his initials to be able to oh, I see. name this but, company. So they literally stopped meat production. Worldwide. By cyber? Worldwide. Worldwide. Wow. So not just here in the United States. It is it, affecting John, do you Australia think this is Canada. a future, something that could happen, that the whole world almost can be it's shut down by cyber attack? Absolutely. a matter of fact, I think this is just one of the things that we've been seeing take place. But overall, we've just recently seen the, the shutdown of our food supply, as well as just a few weeks ago, I think we all remember the oil uh, production being shut and down. And how much did the ransom pay for that? That one was like $5 million so that they paid. So listen to me, people. Wow. There's lazy people out there that like money. Mm -hmm. This is where we're going, people, and this yeah. is why we have got to have Christian television stay on the air. Yeah, we have got to keep this ministry going. We've got yes. to keep all the ministries on. We've got to keep your church open. Don't yeah. let them close the doors of your church. Amen. That's right. Yeah. We need some wild Christians that will shake their fists and say, no, you're not going to take our church. You're not going to take our pastor. You're not going to take our Bibles from us. Yeah. We believe that Jesus is coming, yeah. Yeah. and we're going to stand with it. Now, you know, one of the things is, uh, let me give you another headline that is developing right now in the United States. Liberal cities defund the police departments, releases a list of crimes cops will no longer respond to. This is huge because that we're watching the police departments not respond any longer 
or they're not even going to be around when you need them. What are you going to do when crime starts developing in your city mm -hmm. and police officers will no longer respond to it? We will be affected by some of this, uh, what the people are asking for. This is another news that we try to follow, right? But let me give you this one. Global food prices surged to near decade high, according to the UN says. We're watching the prices surge like never before. Again, this is all due, again, they want to blame the pandemic for this, but we're watching a political warfare over economic systems being put in place that are hurting the normal people. That means the common folks that shop at the local markets. This is another one according to the Economic Collapse blog. As trust in the government erodes, many Americans are discovering that it is too late to fully implement their backup plans. We're watching what used to work in our family system no longer works as we're watching this government just erase the very thing that our nation was founded on no longer works anymore is redefining what we're doing in the United States. This is another one. The world economy is suddenly running low on everything. Wow. I'm going to give you a word from an old prophet, friend of yours, just to balance it out to prophecy in the news. This is chapter one, and we're not offering this book, so don't call, don't try. It. It's very difficult to get these books. But this is chapter one from David Wilkerson, and it's called Economic Confusion. Not only is the American dollar headed for deep trouble, but so are all other world currencies. I see total economic confusion striking Europe first and then affecting Japan in the United States, Canada, and all other nations shortly after. It is not really a depression I see coming, but a recession and of quote this is from a 1973 book that he wrote yeah. and we're watching the headlines just jump out yeah. saying we're here it is now this prophecies are being fulfilled as we're watching the economy all of a sudden running low we're watching a recession that none of us were ready for we took a hit that most American families and even the world economy systems were not ready when this started hitting. Everything Jesus has taught us yeah. is going to happen in the last days is happening. Yeah. Marcella, what are some of the offers we have? We need to save our stations this week. Mm -hmm. This is our whole month has been to try to get caught up. We're still behind. We need a miracle. Yeah. And we're going to make it. That's right. What should we start with? Yes. Today we have the legacy seed offer, and I think it's imperative. You know, even as we are hearing what's happening, Dad, you have always taught us to have that food insurance, to have a way to be able to prepare for our friends, our family, our loved ones. And this is an easy way that you can do it. We have the legacy seed which are heirloom seeds, and they are a 10-year shelf life. So this is an easy way for you to put this, store it, and have it available if when you need it. This is the family garden offer with seeds. So in this offer, you're going to receive the grow and store garden seeds, which has 21 varieties of different heirloom seeds from tomatoes, corn, sweet peas, bell peppers, carrots, watermelon, the list goes on and on, 21 variety seeds. Along with this offer, we have paired it with the family garden plan book. So this is going to help you give you worksheets and planning your garden from all different seasons, from spring, summer, fall, every season you'll be able to plan your garden. Along with this is you're receiving the family garden planner and we're throwing in a special bonus of the tea time teacup set. And so these beautiful teacups that we have to offer right here for a donation of $125 to the ministry. All of this offer includes the shipping and handling, but this is a way for you to stand with us and to help us. And everything that is, that is presented on today's broadcast will go towards our SOS to help save our stations. We're truly, we're believing God for a miracle in this season that we're in. We are believing God. We have the faith. 
We have that faith. So call us right now to receive your legacy seed offer. What else do we have here that... Uh... One of our offers that we have for our Save Our Stations is the beholding and becoming the art of everyday worship. We have, Barisala, you and I have worked with some of the vendors. We, this year, we've had some amazing, the most beautiful quality beautiful. items coming across and being able to offer to our partners. So this is the beholding and becoming. I've given this as a gift to several women that I love in my family. This offer here is for a donation of $25, which includes the shipping and handling. You're going to receive one of the Beholding and Becoming books. And there's another, Grace Lace. Mm -hmm. And this is all from the best-selling author. She's amazing, Ruth Simmons. Mm -hmm. And this offer is the Grace Lace, Discovering Timeless Truth Through Seasons of the Heart. You can receive this for a donation of $25 to the ministry, which includes the shipping and handling it's as well. Absolutely beautiful. It's quality. That's yes. what I gave you for Mother's That's Day. That's right. And I love it. And these are yes. great coffee book you, it, tables, it, too. The key is you can't get them anywhere. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yes. Or just everywhere. Yes. And these will be items that I will pass down to my girls. I want them to hide the word in their heart. These are, like, so beautiful that you can use this even to hand down to your family. That's yeah. right. John Woodall, what do you have? Oh, right here. This is one of the great things that we have today. This is the complete illustrated children's Bible we here that, that is just a donation of $25 with nearly 300 beautiful pages of illustrations to capture even the youngest child's imagination. If grandma wants to give yes. the grandchild amazing something, grandma and grandpa, yes. it, it's beautiful. Yes. I, I recommend yeah. it. It's a 10-star. Absolutely. Well, it's every picture, every page is color pictures illustrating Bible stories. And it's, it's the greatest children's Bible I've ever seen. It and is. I know they're going to love it. And I'll tell you, you actually gifted this to Olivia yeah. recently when she was on the show. That was such a special moment for us. But she came home the next morning, Saturday morning. I have a picture I'll send to you. She's sitting there on the couch, just literally reading through this Bible and saying, Mommy, did you know this? Or let me read this part to you. She was yeah. so captivated by these Bible stories. So I, yeah. as a mother, I 100% guarantee this book. And she's at the age where she can literally absorb. absorb she loves into, it. She loves, her, loves the word. The stories and see the pictures. Yeah from the Bible. Yes. Anything else, John? Yes, we also have 101 bedtime Bible stories right here. And I know that this is a very important thing in our oh, family. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, uh, I think we've realized how important it is to teach your kids the Bible and start memorization and things. And they really enjoy the bedtime stories. So you guys can call in today or go to the jimbakershow.com. Mm -hmm. Just a donation of $25 today. And you can bless yourself and your family just mm -hmm. by having that evening, that before mm -hmm. bedtime story right. right here. L let's I would say order to, today. I yeah. would say, Grandma and Grandpa, get this. Grandmas, these. This is yeah. what you get That's for your right. grandchildren. Right. Not candy, not junk, not... But this, this is the Word of God for them to hide in their heart. And I watch our little grandchildren. I watch these... It's a great book, Lori. Oh, it's, yeah. it's amazing. I and know. It, every, our, all of our grandkids love they to have Bible yeah. stories. They really and be do. And they love to be read, too. Our time's almost gone. Mondo, you have yes. something? Yes, real quick. I have the infographics full bundle offer. These are creative books to know the Bible. The first one is called Bible in Infographics for Kids. Giants, ninja skills, and a talking donkey. <laughs> this book will give you the creative ways to tell the story to your kids, to be oh. able to help them out on how did everything get started, all the way starting from Adam and Eve, all the way to, of course, the book of Revelation. And it's going to give you a detailed, creative ways to tell the Bible story. These are great facts that I didn't even know, even though I read the Bible Games and all that, but something about stuff pictures. To play in it. And Absolutely. The second one that is going to give you more creativity is the Bible infographics for kids, the light and dark heroes and villains. This is a mind-blowing Bible fact book that you can go through your kids. You know, Bible stories are so important today, yeah. and if we don't tell the right facts about it, they can get lost now you in get the all of the so you get that one then you get the creative for $50 yes, yes. then you That's get right. the activity book as well 
that has all kinds of creative ways, puzzles and all that. But my favorite is this, our family are a family that loves to play fun card games. <laughs> but this one right here, you know, it gives you the stories of who John is. They're Bible cards. Yes. Uh, Bible cards, right. absolutely. So don't backslide, oh, you no, old-timers, and go, you can't play cards. <laughs> Listen, it's a way to connect with your kids, a way to That's talk right. to them, and any questions they have about the Bible. This little card Don't game. complain that there's nothing for kids because we work right. at finding yeah. it. We work That's hard. Right. Yes. Yeah. We believe Laura, in you've it. got something on your... Well, something plate. you love, Jim Baker, and it's the Red Truck Spring Offer. At yes. the, and you, you know, we all know how Jim started this Red Truck craze yes. a few years ago. So there's so many different uh, parts of this. You receive one mug. You can see it on the screen there, but one mug to drink out of the red truck. One flag that, when we say flag, it's not the American flag. It's a pretty little flag. It's a garden, oh, a garden, that's flag. A garden flag. Yeah, that you put yeah. on your little sample. Your stand. <laughs> your stand. Yes, thank you. Now. And um, you'll also receive one red truck spring pop-up box card. Look here. I can love pop-up cards. Can you see that? Look at I that. I don't know about you, but... That's a pop they're amazing. I want this card for my birthday, please. Okay. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Already, we're looking forward to January. All right, yeah. and but and, I I love the red truck stuff. Yeah. I don't know what it is. You it's really do. You it is nostalgic. It. Yeah. Yes, and then also the assorted box cards. Little. The, Beautiful little note of the red truck, you, of the red truck that you can. So write. you got two boxes of cards. Mm -hmm. You pop up in the regular cards. Yes. And all that comes for how much? And the garden flag, and that's for a donation of fifty dollars to the ministry. That's incredible. And that includes shipping and handling. Yes. So that's and that's what we're trying to do at this. You know, we are trying to put together gifts that will bless you. And when you give those love gifts, we want to send you these gift items. But in return, you are helping us to stay on the air. And that is our ultimate calling that that's we have it. as a family, to truly, to preach the gospel, stay on the air, and bring guests who are going to tell us the truth and preach us as we continue to stand together in this day and age where, you know, everyone is fighting against cancel culture. And sadly, you know, the ministries are the ones who are getting, we are targeted and they're getting hit the hardest. And so we must stand together as that you have taught us for so many years. Those, as we see these times coming, as we see the Lord's return approaching us, we must stand and uplift one another and encourage each other through these times. So anything else we have or is that all? Those are our offers for today that we have available. Call us 1-888-988-1588. That is our toll-free partner service number where you can place your order. And of course, you can go to the website, jimbakershow.com, where you can see all the, there's no way we could ever show you all the different products that we have available for you and your your friends, your family, your loved ones. So go to the website, jimbakershow.com, to check out all of our different categories. SOS, save our yes. station yes. and do something today. Order any of these products, or if you can't order any of them, give just $100 and say, I want to give a gift to yes. the That's ministry. Right. That's that right. will help us to stay on this. The stations all over the world. Yes. Amen. Call Amen. right now. 1-888-988-1588. Yeah. We love you so very much.